Okay, raise your hand if you got cabin fever yet. I think a lot of us do at this point. So I figured I would be able to tell you guys like what I've been doing in quarantine. It's not a whole lot I've been doing, but I have been, you know, studying for my permit exam because it's always been one of my goals for me to finally learn how to drive because I've already have had, you know, a couple friends ask me if I could drive them places, but I was downright afraid that I was going to get caught by a police officer if they ever catch me driving without a license or a permit even. And also, I have been watching a lot of stuff on my Roku because I figured, you know, there's not a whole lot to do. I could always watch a lot of movies and a lot of TV shows on there. And I have been doing stuff like that. And also, I've been hanging out with my friends. But it's only my friends that live near me, but it's not my friends who live out of town or whatever because... I know right now it's you're supposed to be blocking all unnecessary travel because of what had been going on. And, you know, this has just been such a crazy and such a hectic time for, you know, so many people. It's not just, you know, people like me, but, you know, it's, it's affecting everyone. It's This is nuts. And, you know, I can't wait for this to be over with. I feel that either God or the universe has really been testing people within the past two or three months with, you know, how emotionally strong they can be and also with, like, what they can do in certain situations. I mean, I know for sure when this stuff started happening, I wasn't, you know, buying up, like, every single brand of toilet paper known to man and several known to monkeys because of this. I And I also wasn't buying up all the hand sanitizer either. I mean, I already do have a lot of the ones over at Bath and Body Works that I keep. And oh my god, this is just nuts. I think the one thing that's really been driving me nuts the most about what had been going on is that there has been some people saying that this whole thing is a hoax just to scare and control people. But I really don't think it's the truth. I think that, you know, something just got out of hand, which is like why it spread worldwide. And it's really kind of driving me nuts that, you know, people saying that, oh, it's invented by, you know, it's been created in a lab somewhere to control and make people sick. I mean, some so then there's some people that say that, oh, this virus doesn't exist. So they think that they can just go do whatever they want. But no, that's not the truth. You can get sick with it. You can even die from it. It's just, it's that bad. I mean, I wish that they would just wake up to this. And I understand where they're coming from because I know it's small, microscopic, you can't see it, and it's airborne too, I think, which is why this happened. Which is why, you know, there's still some people saying that this is a hoax just to control and manipulate people. But that's not the truth. I think, you know, something just got out of hand, which is why it became so viral and so worldwide. And it started out from a bat in China. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys about what I had been doing before I put the camera away. I figured I'd be able to tell you about what I've been doing for working out. I have been downstairs on my friend's elliptical and also I had been getting some walks in like here and there and I have been wearing a mask because I don't know if you guys know this but it's a thousand dollar fine if you live where I live and you're, if you're not wearing a mask out, out and about out in public, then you could be fined a thousand bucks for it. Isn't that crazy? It's just, you know, a lot of people need that money, which is why you should be wearing a mask when you're out, out, out and about out in public if you're living in New York State. Or if you live out of state or out of country, whatever, you can just, you know, tell me in the comments what are the laws over in your state or your country about um, about the mask thing, okay?
Good thing all the grocery stores are still opened and gas stations are still opened, so I was still able to go get groceries, but I've had, you know, my friends take me into those places because I still don't drive. And I have been chatting and video chatting with my friends and my boyfriend, and I have been having my boyfriend come every other week. Because I figured that, you know, I'll have them over every other week until this passes because I just don't want to have the virus. I mean, I'm not saying that he's sick with the virus, but I'm just saying that there could be a good possibility that either his parents could take it home or a sister could take it home with him and with that and then he gets sick with it. I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm really hoping that this passes as much as you guys do. But did you guys hear that over in China, they already had reopened places, but then there's been places that resurged because of this. I think it was because they didn't wait long enough for the virus to pass, and that's what happened. And I'm really hoping that there's not going to be another resurgence of this in the States. Because it's bad enough that over where I live, that New York State became one of those states that has the most corona. I wish it were the beer, but it's the virus. And this is nuts. And this is really, just like what I said earlier, it's affecting, you know, so many people. I really wish that this never happened and you think we'd be living in a time where, you know, that there would be that, you know, we would have better control of this and we would stop having this happen. Because, you know, we're letting history repeat itself because there was the pandemic that happened back in 19, like, I want to say like 1918 or something like that, where there was the, there was a pandemic back then, but I'm happy, though, that, you know, we have all this technology and stuff where, you know, it's helping us get through these tough times. If something like that, hap something like this, you know, happens back then, we would have been just, like, writing letters back and forth to each other. I feel like I'm, so, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, writing a letter back to you guys, but in video form about what I've been up to. Oh, yeah, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> And you can like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And my name is Brittany Corwin, and I'm crazy beautiful if you're on YouTube. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos as well, and I love YouTube.